All right, RFD, we're heading out. 18 hours, E92 M3, Golf R. Wish me luck. What's up, RFD viewers on Twitter? One hour into our 18 hour journey to New Orleans, things are going well. We're gonna swap out this M3 for Golf R and keep watching Twitter for more updates. So not quite two hours into our 18 hour journey to New Orleans. Uh, so far the M3 is pretty impressive. It's comfortable. Uh, ergonomics not too bad. Uh, I like the seating position. I like where my hands are on the steering wheel. The steering wheel is incredibly thick. I find myself maybe gripping it a little tighter than normal. Um, I gotta stop that if I'm gonna live through this and not get all tensed up. So, so far so good. Uh, it's mostly six gear, obviously. It's not quiet, so I'm trying to speak over the, the general sort of road engine exhaust noise. Um, I am, like I said, a couple miles or a couple hours in uh, somewhere in Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to meet Josh somewhere between here and Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm going to hop in the golf bar and continue this trip. So hopefully I don't regret not being in this car anymore at a certain point. So hopefully the golf will be at least as comfortable or better. So, let's see how this goes. All right, sit rep. About four hours in, still in the M3. I'm gonna meet Josh here in the next, I don't know, half hour or so. 18 mile range, probably about 28 miles to go. So, I'm gonna have to stop. Unfortunately, I was hoping to make it all the way there on one tank. M3 is doing great. Uh, I'm doing pretty well, a quarter of the way there, ish. So I just have to do what I just did, which is well, I don't, I don't know, four hours or so, three more times. So got some caffeine. I'm uh, gonna hop in the golf soon. Got some serious XM on there. Probably uh, enough entertainment to keep me from going crazy. And I will uh, check in soon. system uh, just sort of head over this way and it steers you right back only to a point though if you'll notice it steers go that way it steers a little more and eventually it bings and says I'm tired of steering this fucking car for you you do it yourself and then you have to start steering yourself sit rep seven hours in 10 hours, 14 minutes to go. I'm doing pretty good, I'm a little tired. Uh, Josh warned me that the seat is a little flat. He just drove us to Myrtle Beach, and he's right. It's a little flat, my butt hurts a little bit. Uh, back feels pretty good. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of 
is Swagdorn. Uh, it is 85. Um, be nice if this had the, the ventilated seats, but not being picky. This is a based on a hatchback, so you know we're forty thousand dollars. I think you're already getting a lot of car. This is it's been pretty impressive. Got a chance to drive this before uh, Josh took him to the beach. Commuted in it, DC traffic, pretty good. Um, I think this is forty thousand dollars worth of car. Curious, sort of, how the, the naming convention goes. You have Golf GTI, Golf R. So, if anything, maybe it feels a little less special. I just spent six hours or so in Josh's M3. That, that felt special. It felt like there was something kind of unique and interesting about it. Um, verdict on this one, I think, is still out. What's up, Instagram? Coming to you live from Tuskegee, Alabama, across the central time zone. Feeling fresh as a daisy. Nice job, Volkswagen. Uh, my butt hurts a little bit still from the seat. Um, but it's pretty good so far. I'm pretty impressed. Um, got another five hours to go, so hanging in there. Thanks for watching. this Golf R. I like this here. Kind of feels like a touch screen uh, cell phone or something, smartphone. Um, it actually has a motion sensor up there so if you watch, I bring my hand up, all the buttons get larger which is pretty cool. Uh, HVAC works pretty well. Um, I like the display in the front. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty basic, got everything where you need it. Uh, you can cycle through the different uh, fuel consumption, oil temperature, speed, uh, etc. Uh, I typically leave it on range just so I don't run out of gas during a long drive. Uh, I love this wheel. This wheel is ridiculously nice. I love the flat bottom. Buttons work pretty well. I mean, there's a lot of buttons, which is par for the course lately, but that's, uh, you know, that it is what it is. Um, HVAC, uh, as I said, the controls uh, work pretty smooth. Um, I haven't used the nav because, you know, they use Waze. Um, phone, uh, a lot of the systems in the car you can look at here, um, uh, maintenance intervals, things like that, uh, statistics, pretty cool, uh, it works pretty well, Sirius XM, uh, the stereo is a Fender, it's actually pretty good, it works really well, um, so that is about it, uh, nice place up here, and it's, uh, been pretty good for the last couple hours, Let's see how it goes in the next 10. After about 14 hours in the car, I just stopped recording myself talking. I had to concentrate. The autonomous features in the car really helped, especially the lane keeping feature. There were times where I was just getting really tired, and as it got dark, I got much more tired. I've never been more excited to see a road sign before. I was finally getting close to New Orleans.